Hello, I'm Anjana Sharma from Telcoma Technology. So today, let's have a look at new generation of technology and that new generation is fifth generation. So from fourth generation, now we are moving to another generation of technology that means 5G. Now 5G is a technology which is growing at an explosive rate and it is the biggest area. I mean, 5G is biggest area in research and development nowadays. So we want to have more data rate but the question is is fifth generation is only for data? We are moving from generation to fifth generation but only for data there will be significantly increase in data rate. No doubt, we will have significantly increase in data rate, but there is drastic increase in. So I will write here, there will be a drastically increase in, increase in energy efficiency, Frequency efficiency, spectrum efficiency, as well as efficiency of other devices. Which means that with data rate, now we are focusing upon energy efficiency, frequency, spectrum as well as energy of other devices which is the main aim. As we require to save our energy, frequency and spectrum, that's why in fifth technology we are focusing toward efficiency mainly of the energy, frequency and spectrum. So we require to increase the efficiency of all the devices plus we want to reduce the energy usage which will be my increase that means the 5G aim to save the energy, frequency, spectrum and efficiency of our devices as well as to increase the data rate to meet the current demands. Now what are the various agencies those who have worked for 5G technology, 5G technology? So the various agencies those who have worked are MOST, Ministry of Science and Technology, China. Now this agency has a main name that means a project which is known as National 863. Now this National 863 is a project which is there for 5G development. After that we have European Union and that is having a project of METIS where METIS TIS is mobile and wireless communication enables for 2020 information society. So this is METIS 2020 working on 5G project. Next we have UK China bridges. Of Japanese, we have Japan 2020 and beyond. This being the project name, Japan 2020 and beyond. For Korea, we have 5G forum. Other than this, we have ITUR also working on this. Now ITUR and all the agencies those who are working for 5G technology having the aim of IMT 2020. Now this become the major project that we want to achieve IMT 2020 that means expected speed of 5G. We want to have the resultant of this technology and that is 
5G PPPP. That means partnership project, public private partnership project of technology, 5 generation technology. So these are the various agencies. Other than the agencies, we have various mobile companies that means vendors as well as operators also working on this technology. As Huawei is working on Huawei is working to achieve more capacity. So this being that means Huawei is working to have more capacity that means more number of users. Now ZTE, this corporation is working to achieve massive MIMO and software defined air inter ultra high volume and data so it is working on data high data rates so we can achieve ultra high volume and data now next quiz is Nokia and Nokia is working on extensive network Now, it means that with companies and agencies, those who are working for these technologies, all is having a one aim. So, all of these having one aim. So, we can write here, we want, we have only one aim and that is 5G commercial service. till 2020 so all of the agencies all of the companies are working with one and only one goal that means to make commercial service 5g till 2020 so this being the aim that means all of us are working to achieve commercial service of 5g till 2020 so this became the deadline that year 2020 in which we will have fully commercial 5g technology with its concepts now what are the what are the data rates that means what are our aim towards data so my aim will be or goal to achieve data rate So we write here data rate should be greater than 10 gigabit per second and towards the cell edge users that means towards cell edges I expect a data rate should be greater than 100 Mbps and 1 milliseconds I require end to end latency. So this become the main aim that means to achieve 5 generation we want data rate which should be greater than 10 gigabit per second. For cell edges we require data rate greater than 100 Mbps and 1 millisecond latency that means time to communicate. Other than this European Union Commission has an aim that we require thousand times more capacity thousand times more capacity ten to hundred times more connected devices so we are focusing on to have 
more capacity we are focusing towards to achieve more connected devices and now we require 90% energy saving that means a step towards that means to conserve ue battery life we require 90% energy saving and five times lower capacity so five times lower latency that means latency is basically the time to communicate so we want to reduce this also so more capacity more connected devices more energy saving more latency this become the main aim with this much speed so that's why we want to achieve 5g so that we can have more data rate we can have more data rate towards edges latency should be small we have more capacity we want more devices we require more energy saving and we are going to reduce then latency level now all of these will be resulting in that is what are the services that it offer in 5g So all of this will results in super real time connections. Which means that it is possible to achieve super real time connections with the help of fifth generations. Now sec uh, second we have self driven cars concepts. Now this self-driven car is possible only because of fifth generation. So next we have intelligent transport. We have a concept with this with e-health in which we have real-time communication with various doctors. So this will help in development of smart cities. So with the development of smart city, we can use technologies in this. Now this will pro provide a platform for IoT, Internet of Things. which could be possible or which could be in a better rate with the help of fifth generation. Now we have ultra broadband and intelligent pipe networking system. We have a concept of ultra broadband and pipe networking systems. In this we have the concept of zero distance. With ultra broadband, we have known as big data, high speed data, which is known as big data service. We can have cloud systems and machine to machine communication also. So these are the various technologies that we will achieve whenever we have high data rate now what are the inherent technologies that are used to achieve this data rate in 5g so the technology is used in this which is first one is massive mimo multiple input multiple output concept we have used in fourth generation also but to have more data rate we require a concept of mass massive MIMO. Then we have SDN concept which is software defined networking. All networking could be defined in software defined networking concept. We have multimeter wave technology concept.
we have a concept of SDMA or NOMA which is non-orthogonal multiple axis. We require antenna with more energy saving concept. So that means we require energy efficient antennas. So as we are focusing on efficiency of energy, so we require energy efficient antenna. Other than this, we have SCMA, which is sparse code multiple axis. So these are the various technologies. Other, oh, we have 3D beam forming also and diversity. So we have third dimension beam forming and diversity. So these are the various technologies which could be used in fifth generations to have more data rate. Now, what about the test of 4G? As various companies are testing 4G and they have successfully achieved some data rate. So what are the various agencies, those who have tested 4G and achieved the expected data rate? Like we have NTT, very first NTT is which is a Japanese company and Huawei. Both of these companies have tested 5G and they will be able to achieve 3.6 gigabit per second. This test is there in China in which we have connected 24 devices at a time. Now when we have connected now this, this with connection of 24 devices at a time, this test is the first large scale network test of 4G, 5G sorry. First test. I can say first large scale test of fifth generation. Now next, which is there in October 2014. This test is performed by Samsung Electronics. Now, Samsung Electronics is able to achieve data rate of 7.5 gigabit per second. So, this become the test. Now, next, and this test is there in South Korea. Now, next test of 5G, which is performed by 5G IC. Five G I C performed a test in which they will be able to achieve a data rate of eight hundred gigabit per second, and in February two thousand and fifteen, they achieve a data rate of one terabyte per second. Now this data rate is become the world record. This data rate is a world record but it has a limitation that this test is within a range of only 100 meters. So within a range of 100 meter we have tested 5G and achieved a data rate of 1 terabit per second and this data rate is the world record till now. So in today's class of 5G we have discussed the introduction part of 5G. Now, for more lectures with fifth generation, please visit our website www.telcomatraining.com. And for latest updates of fifth generation, please visit our Facebook page. Thank you so much.